Hey guys, you might be a little confused as to why you are here as this is not my typical video style. I just wanted to address a gacha creator who we will call Kitty. Now just a reminder, this does not, and I repeat, does not give anyone permission to go and harass this creator. I am simply making this video to raise awareness to the situation and how tracing and stealing art is extremely problematic behavior. I would also like to thank Ray for providing me with a lot of the evidence and proof that will be shown. All things considered, let's get into the video. Kitty is a gacha creator who made her account in 2023. I have called her out previously for using AI and claiming it as her own. Back when that happened she went by the name, Dead Somebody or Shiny T Moon. I originally called her out for these two artworks, as she was using these to try enter a fan art contest. You can very clearly see that she has used AI, there is little to no consistency in the style, and you can see where she has gone over the image and scribbled on features to make it look more like the contest owner's OCs. On top of that, when I tried addressing the issue to her, she claimed that her art was not AI, she then threatened to quit due to getting hate for no reason and went ahead and made this video. I only have the screenshot of the video, as I did not think to screen record it at the time, but you can clearly see me tagged in the video's title, it is titled, Everyone's Toy, Don't Say I'm Hating Because EJ Is The Hater. I was labeled as a hater by this girl for the simple act of telling her to not steal AI. Recently Kitty denied the fact that she made this video and aimed it at me, she said, and I quote, My sister was called EJ, and I made a video with her OC and EJ thought I was talking about her because the OC looked familiar to EJ's OC. Now this is clearly an outright lie, she tagged me straight up in the video, so how could it be her sister who has the same name as me and a similar OC? When I called her out for this she responded, claiming that she didn't remember tagging me, and that if she wanted to make my OC, she would do it correctly. After all of this went down, Kitty deleted all of her AI images and posts, though she continues to refuse to admit that she used AI, I decided to let it go, as I hoped her deleting all of her AI content was a sign that she'd changed for the better. But unfortunately, it appears Kitty has learned nothing. I recently came across this image on her account. It is a fan art that she made for a popular YouTuber with 700,000 plus subs. Now the issue here is that this is not her art, she has traced an artwork off Pinterest and claimed it as her own. Ray did some digging and found the original artwork, as you can see, this is clearly traced, the original artist's signature is on the artwork. Upon confronting her about this, she tried to argue that it is a base, but upon searching, it says nowhere that this artwork is a free-to-use base. Kitty also insisted that she only traces the hands and not the whole thing, then proceeded to try guilt trip Ray by saying that she supported her and all she gets in return is accusations of tracing. This is disgustingly immature behavior for someone who claims to be 18. Thankfully, Kitty deleted the post, so it is no longer available to be seen. Unfortunately, when I looked deeper into her channel, I found more than just that artwork. I came across this post, she had an image of an eye and claimed that she had made it and that people were free to use it. This is in fact yet another one of her lies. Although this eye is a free-to-use base, it was not made by Kitty. Ray once more went looking and found this image on Pinterest. When we told Kitty off for stealing again, she decided to come up with one of the most ridiculous lies I have ever heard. I kid you not, this girl claimed that somehow the word Pinterest got autocorrected to the word me. I don't know if she's pretending to be an idiot or if she genuinely thinks we're dumb enough to believe that. Regardless, she took down that post also which is a good first step. However, I am slightly concerned as Kitty has threatened to end her life over this whole ordeal, and although I feel this is also another grasp for attention, I will take it seriously and I will respond with this. Ending your life is a permanent fix for a temporary problem, it is not the answer, and yes, your feelings are valid, you are human, we all are, but threatening to end your life over something as small as this is extremely unsettling, and Kitty, I hope you can go find some professional help.